So today I'm gonna to be making carnivore soul bread. So what you're going to need is you're gonna need a premium grass-fed whey um, protein. I use the Naked Whey brand. You can find this on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. You're going to need sea salt, baking soda, beef gelatin powder. I also got this off Amazon. I'll post a link in the description. You're going to need baking powder, um, some type of stevia, or for this recipe I'm actually going to use monk fruit, um, cream of tartar, heavy whipping cream, melted butter, and softened cream cheese along with four eggs. Okay, and you're going to want to preheat your oven to 325 degrees. And so first we're going to add the softened cream cheese into a bowl. Along with the butter. And then we're going to add the heavy whipping cream. You need one fourth cup of the heavy whipping cream. You'll need 12 ounces of cream cheese and a half a cup of butter. And then we're going to add the stevia as well. And for this, I only use a little bit. I use four teaspoons. Um, you can add as much or as little as you want. For a sweeter bread, you can add more. If you don't want any, any sugar in it, you don't have to add it at all either. And then we're just gonna go ahead and mix this. I'm gonna mix it by hand. Um, you can use a stand mixer if you'd like. So then after you get it all mixed together and it's smooth, we are going to add the eggs and we're going to do one at a time and then mix until we've added all four eggs. Okay, after you got that all mixed together, we are going to add the baking soda. You need one third teaspoon baking soda. I'm just gonna do an overestimated quarter of a teaspoon, it's another third teaspoon. Okay, and then you're going to need two teaspoons of the gelatin. Okay, and you're going to mix that. Okay, next you're going to add the protein powder. You need one and two thirds cup protein powder.
you need two and one fourth teaspoon baking powder. fourth a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Okay, and then we're going to pour this. into a buttered um, bread pan. Okay, just kind of help get some of those air bubbles out. Alright, so then you're going to bake this at 325 degrees for 45 minutes or until golden brown and done in the middle. I put a pan underneath because sometimes it'll expand and overflow, so that keeps it off the bottom of my oven. Okay, so now you're going to want to flip your bread out onto a wrap and you're going to let it cool okay and then once it's cool you go ahead and slice into it and you have nice delicious spread. Literally tastes so much just like real bread that it's delicious and amazing. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And there you have it. Carnival bread. I hope you enjoy.